Uh, calories in, calories out. One of the most heated topics in fitness social media. People love to argue about this one, and there's so much bullshit. Hopefully, we can settle this argument today. Um, so, for, first of all, is calories in, uh, calories out a scientific fact? Fuck yes. <laughs> the simple answer is yes. I don't know why this is still an argument. Uh, CO, CICO and fat loss slash fat gain are subject to the first law of thermodynamics. It is an immutable fact of science. It, it, I, I love this quote by Neil deGrasse Tyson. He said, the good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. And that's the fa that's the case here. There's all kinds of bullshit diet guru charlatans out there that say uh, <laughs> calories in, calories out is not a fact. It's because they just want to sell you bullshit. They want to sell you their their special, unique way uh, of dieting. You can't get around it. You have to eat less than you burn if you if you want to if you want to burn fat. It, it, it's it's just scientific fact. Um, so, so to understand it, uh, let, let's take a little, uh, going back to physics class here, uh, you know, it's been a long time since I took physics, but I did take it in college and in um, high school, and I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, you know, so the first law of thermodynamics, it, it is a basic fundamental law of physics. It's the law of conservation of energy. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only transferred. Keep that in your head. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. Uh, so for, think of this example uh, of a car burning gasoline. The gas is burned, which fires the engine. The engine turns the crank that turns the wheels. Okay, so... The energy is transferred from the gas through the process of burning it to the wheel, which moves the car forward, okay? Uh, energy is neither created nor destroyed in this process, only transferred. Uh, the body works the same way. Um, the body is a closed thermodynamic system subject to the first rule of thermodynamics. Can't change that, no matter how much you want to. Uh, you can want that to not be true. You can, you know, think this new diet that says, you know, <laughs> eating certain foods or whatever allows you to violate the laws of thermodynamics. It's bullshit. And and it should immediately discredit the person who's, who's saying that bullshit. Um, if you could disprove the first law of thermodynamics, you'd win a Nobel Prize. <laughs> you demonstrate the ability to create energy from nothing and solve the world's energy crisis. Uh, you would be a hero to all humanity. No one's done it yet. And believe me, scientists are constantly trying to do it. Hasn't been done. You'd be the first. Um, so the body's, let's, let's think about the body's closed energy system so you can get a better grasp of why this is a fact. Calories are burned to fuel the body just like the gasoline fuels the car. Uh, the metabolism fluctuates just like a car consuming gas. When you pull that car off the lot and it has that sticker on the side that says 38 miles per gallon, think of that as your metabolism. Uh, that car Does that car get 38 miles per gallon all the time? No. Well, you know, if, if you were pulling, you know, you had a car full of people and a trunk full of suitcases, you're going to get worse gas mileage because you're putting more load on the car. Uh, bigger cars, trucks, they require more gas and get le less gas mileage, just like the body would burn more calories, okay, if, if you had a bigger body. A car sitting idle at the stoplight or in park doesn't burn that much gas, just like if you're laying your fat ass on the couch, you're not burning many calories. Um... Excess energy is stored in the fuel tank, just like your body stores excess energy in glycogen stores, fat, etc., for use later on. Okay, it's 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 the same thing as the car, essentially. So there's no magic diet for fat loss. You know, I, you know, there, 
certainly macro composition will make a difference in in your body composition. People lose weight because they cut calories. It doesn't matter what diet you're on. Keto, vegetarian, low fat, etc. I love when people go on these keto diets and they say, oh my gosh, it was so easy. I lost a whole bunch of weight, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there, like, as there's some magic to to going keto, there's no <laughs> you've what you've done is removed an entire macronutrient from your diet. You're not eating carbs anymore, so you're eating less calories. <laughs> Same thing when people go vegetarian or vegan. You've removed an entire macronutrient group. You're not eating protein anymore, um, so of course you're going to lose weight. It doesn't. <laughs> you're just removing calories. It's that simple. Um, you know, as I mentioned, there are diets that make for better body composition. Uh, you know, losing, you know, think about, you know, if you were trying to train for a bodybuilding show, you know, technically you can lose weight if, you, if you're in a deficit and you ate Snickers bars all day long, you're going to lose weight. Um, you might look like a pile of mashed potatoes at the end, uh, but you're definitely going to lose weight, um, you know, you know, versus eating a bodybuilding diet that's higher in protein uh, where you're going to have a better body composition and retain muscle mass. Um, so understating your metabolism. Um, you know, your metabolism, as we alluded to earlier with the car example, isn't static. People like to have a calculated number. Oh, my metabolism is 2,500 calories per day. That's just an estimate, okay? Your, your metabolism fluctuates from day to day depending on a multitude of factors. It's going to lower and go <laughs> and raise depending on these factors. And, you know, your base metabolism is how much you're doing, you know, how much you're burning by doing nothing. Um, exercise is going to have an effect on your metabolism. The more you exercise, the more calories you burn. Neat. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis, just sitting around doing nothing. You know, that's essentially the or not, 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 sorry, not sitting around doing nothing. This is the activity around the house. So cleaning your house, uh, you know, walking up and down the stairs, taking your dog outside to go to the bathroom, cooking dinner. Um, all of these things burn calories, okay? They, they burn calories on top of your base metabolism. The thermic effect of food. Uh, certain foods, protein, um, it, it takes... It, it takes calories to burn that, to process that food, okay? Um, hormone manipulation, you know, by manipulating your hormones, bodybuilders know all about that. You can raise your, or, or even lower your metabolism. Um, thermogenic drugs, fat burners, caffeine, things like this are going to raise your metabolism, cause you to burn more, more calories. Muscle mass, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn at rest. Uh, metabolic down or up regulations. Your your body is a very adaptive machine, and I think this is where people get confused with the calories in and calories out st stuff. Saying it's not true, your metabolism <laughs> adjusts to what you're 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 eating. You know, if you're if you're starving yourself, your metabolism is going to down regulate, and you're going to burn less calories over a period of time. Same thing when you get yourself adjusted to eating more food. To a certain point, your, your metabolism will raise. Um, you know, it's not dramatic. Um, how calories are stored in the in the human body? Excess calories are stored as glycogen. Uh, the, this is this is carbohydrates. Uh, store carbohydrates in the liver or the muscle tissue. Stored fat. Um, you know, we all know about that. And muscle tissue. Muscle tissue are, is, is calories as well. So burning fat or burning calories, you must burn more calories than you consume. Calories in, calories out. It is that simple. Um, uh, remember the first law of thermodynamics. Your body can burn calories from glycogen, stored fat, muscle tissue. It doesn't always burn it from stored fat. In fact, it doesn't like to burn fat first. Think of fat as your emergency store, your, your, your savings account. Um, Muscle can also be burned uh, through a process called gluconeogenesis. Uh, muscle is unnecessary if you're if you were out on the savanna, you know, 20,000 years ago, and you know you're starving. Your body doesn't need that muscle tissue to survive. Okay, 
um, it, it, it'll 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 burn muscle tissue for calories as well um, for blood for blood sugar turning it into blood sugar um, you have to trick your body into retaining muscle uh, when you diet bodybuilders know all about this through weight training uh, eating eating high protein diets uh, things such as that uh, glycogen is usually the first calories that your body uh, excess calories that your body burn it's easy easily accessible fuel um, anyone who's done a contest prep knows what it feels like to be glycogen depleted. You get flat, you feel like shit. Uh, you know, the, the, this is, this is, this is part of the process. Um, they say you have to get flat to burn fat. Um, uh, macros do matter. We, you know, we've said, we've said this before, you know, how you structure your matters do make a difference in body composition. But at the end of the day, it is a calorie deficit that burns excess calories fat burning math so let's look at some math in regards to fat burning there's roughly 3500 calories in a pound of fat uh, to lose one pound of fat per week that means you need to be in a 500 calorie per day deficit you know we're making an assumption that you're burning primarily fat here which isn't always the case as we established uh, you can burn that uh, through calorie reduction, through increased exercise, um, uh, fat burners, etc. Um, you know, manipulation of your hormones, increasing NEAT. Um, I, I thought this was fascinating. I uh, I don't know how true this is, but I read a thing about standing desks. That just having a standing desk alone, if you're if you're an office worker, if you stand for the eight hours versus sitting that's an extra 100 to 200 calories depending on your body size that you burn per day you know it doesn't sound like a lot but over the course of a 16-week diet if you're a bodybuilder that adds up um anyway we'll, we'll get more into this i'm going to record more videos uh and going into how to manipulate uh your macros to um to make you know have retain muscle and to have a better body composition as you lose weight um you don't want to be skinny fat i see a lot of, a lot of people that lose a ton of weight from crash diets keto comes to mind and they 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 lose all this weight but they they're still they're just they lose muscle they lose muscle glycogen and they just look skinny fat uh we don't want to be skinny fat so we'll talk we'll talk about that uh, please like and subscribe. That helps me out. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the uh, in the comment section. If there are any other videos um, that you would like me to record, please let me know and follow me on Instagram at Paul K Barnett. Thank you.